Hi guys, it's Bob from Great Beer Models. Welcome back to my channel. And a massive, massive thank you to everybody who's uh, liked and subscribed. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for your help. Um, a bit of a bit of a cold. Um, yeah, the weather here in the UK has not been particularly good over the last couple of weeks and uh, or the last couple of well, a couple of days a week. Um, been bloody cold, and uh, yeah, we've had snow. Um, typical of the UK, we have half an inch of snow and the whole country grinds to a halt. But uh, no, in some places it has been bad. And I hope you're not there. So I hope that you know that uh, you know where you are. Everything's all good and you're all happy and safe. Um, so we had a bit of progress on the on the on the tally ho coach and done a little bit on that. So let's get over to the bench and we'll have a look. So I've given the, the figures and uh, the horses a coat of primer. Um, I used, it says rushing over to the other side, but, uh, I used my favourite grey primer, which is, which is this, this is the Mr Finishing Surface of 1500 grey. Um, I use this, I also thin it down using The uh, Mr. Color Leveling Thinner 400. Do it about a 50-50 mix. Um, but what I've, what I've done is just give them a basically a very thin coat of primer. This one actually was um, on the carousel here, and I went round and, and he was the one that was I had a little bit left in the in the in the cup so I just finished it off on here but the idea of this thinning this thin coat is just to have a look again at the joins and things and have a look to see if there's any further work to be done and as you can as you can see here um, where that was filled that that needs a bit that needs more work and then the, the back end of the horse here that needs some work because obviously there's, there's a fairly sharp square corner there so it's just it's just a coat like that just to just to have a look at you know what the progress is like on each of the the sets of figures as well so i mean on the on this set the figure i've worked on the seams tried to clear all the seams give it a quick dusting over with a primer coat and there's there's one or two things have, that have come up come up on on the arm here uh, that needs a little bit more work and um I mean, I've got the seams off of the hats and off of the shoulders and and all of that sort of thing. But, yeah, it just needs a little bit more work. So I'll get on with a bit more of that work and then I can start looking at what sort of colours. Um, so, yeah, so I'll get on with that and I'll come back to you shortly. Right, so we've got some... Everything now has been primed and now we've got to look at colour. Um, and I was looking at, at what what they've got here it's about the only real color guide there is um, there's a there's a little bit on the on the instructions that sort of gives you sort of a basic sort of color so I've been sort of going through this and trying to work out you know what sort of color it is going to be um, so for example the on here the the wheel rims are shown as silver and then the internals are red and all that sort of stuff so i think what i'll do um i think the first thing to do is is probably give everything a blast of red um where it's appropriate um yeah i'll i'll do that and uh, we'll uh, see how that turns out um, on the bottom of the the actual carriage um i'll spray red at the top but i won't bother masking it off or anything like that um but uh, yeah i think that's what we'll do um with the body of it we really should bring these things over really shouldn't i so anyway giving a coat of primer to the insides um, and the outside obviously of the body and then on the inside 
I've put a sort of fairly rough sort of seat seat thing there just to sort of give the impression of uh, of seating and then what I'll do is I'll give that sort of a coat of, of um, sort of a leather colour um, <clears throat> but the first thing to do I think is to blast inside with some I think it probably would have been maybe red not sure um, but I think the first thing to do is, is make sure that we've got some sort of colour scheme in there it's it's, it's nothing fancy um, I've just put seats in essentially um, so they're they're in there so that basically when you look in there there's some seats which is which is really all I was after um, and then we'll put the rest we'll put the whole body together once we've painted the inside and uh, block off the <coughs> obviously the door window the door, door windows you know the windows um, there and then uh, We'll, we'll carry on but um, yeah so now um, yeah what I was thinking was just blasting this with some red along this top edge um, but I might might do the black first um, always try and work on a principle of do the do the, the light colors first and then mask those off and then do the dark colors um, I don't know I don't know, yeah. but yeah. Anyway, so the colour scheme is going to be based loosely on on this whole picture, and uh, we'll go from there. Right. So I'll go off and do some of that. Uh, get some paint on. the The weather here in the UK has been better than it has been for a while. Um, it is dry. It is sort of relatively relatively warm, about 15 degrees at the moment so not too bad but yeah so we'll carry on yeah my main concern to be honest is 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 the horses so I mean this one looks like it it's sort of white that one looks like it's white this is all the dappled grey and stuff like that so I'll do that I think I'll do them with a base coat of, of white uh, and then we'll work from there <coughs> um, these ones We'll do a, a, a sort of base coat of, of, a, of a tan colour. We'll have to look through what I've got and we'll work from there. And then I'll, ha I'll have to hand paint these just to get the extra sort of tones. Um, figures, pretty much as they are here. Um, they look pretty cool, but they're not that great. But, but yeah, we can make something out of that. Um, yeah. Right, so anyway, get on with some paint and I'll be back in a sec right so we've got uh, everything in a in a sort of primary colour so there's a nice bright red um, which is the uh, oh, I'll find it in a minute is the Vallejo red the 003 so that, that that's all those done uh, the top of the right, just those bits done. So we've done the done a quick coat of red, mainly because I had some red red left over in 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 the uh, in the airbrush, and I thought well, I might as well just blast some red on there for now. Um, that'll all dry off, and uh, we'll come back to that and uh, probably give it another dusting coat. Um, the sort of canvas pack thing uh, they're saying do it bright yellow but I've put a um, this is a what was this I think this was uh, Vallejo's no not rust it was light rust um, 712 71.129 um, just just put a primary coat on there just just to uh, see where that goes and, and obviously a bit of weathering on top of that I'll move that out of the way and then oh, let me just move this out of the way and then the, the next bit will be um, I've done this this lot on the carousel so um, the horses so I've got two brown horses two white so I started off with a dark brown 
um, that was um, well actually it is uh, <laughs> Modlaire dark brown dunkel brown and um, obviously then I'll bring a, a lighter brown on top of that and I've got a number of browns that I can use to just to start to emphasize the light parts of the horse um, and then with the other two horses I've done them in a in a white that was just the, the world of white grey again the growl vice uh, this is model A's uh, 71.119 um, just give them a, a, a base coat of that and then I'll work around off of that base coat with the sort of probably a dapple grey and, and I've done the wheels in a red as well and some of the fittings um, which have been given a, a, a red coat and um, obviously these the, I'm going to put more weathering on these as well so um, that'll be fine and then I can move off of, on that red and put some tones in there but yeah so everything's got a basic sort of paint coat on it and uh, that's where we are at the moment so um, thanks for watching if you've got this far um, and we'll see you on the next one take it easy bye for now Thank <laughs> you.